What's up YouTube? Brian from the Beehive RV. Welcome back to the channel. I'm in Scout, our gladiator. And this whole episode is about the wind noise generated by the uh, 50 inch Rough Country LED light bar. We installed that and my God, it was loud. It was so loud. It was incredibly, incredibly annoyingly loud. It was so loud, but I figured out how to get rid of that noise. You can hear right now, it's not too bad. It's kind of quiet. I'm going down the highway about 60 miles an hour, and it's not bad. It's almost that stock feeling. It's, it's good. So, I bought the Rough Country 50 inch LED light bar. Great product, wonderful light bar. I really like it. I gotta tell you, I really enjoyed the customer service at, uh, at Rough Country as well. Great people there, always responsive. But that light bar was so loud, so loud, that I just couldn't do it. I could not do it. We were driving back from Kingman, about a two hour drive, and between it, and the uh, and the soft top, I, my ears were going to explode. It was so bad. So if you're going to buy a light bar for your JT or JL or whatever, and it's external, know that it is going to be loud as hell. And I mean loud. I I had to remove it. I had to remove it. I couldn't do it. I've come to find out since then. I've talked to several people who've done the same thing. They went out. They spent the money. Thought it was oh, this is the coolest thing ever. Man, it works great. But as a daily driver, can't do it. Just can't do it. No way. Can't listen to it all the way down the road. Can't. Can't. I just can't do it. Anyways, I just couldn't. I couldn't do it. I had to take it off. I had to remove it. I couldn't hear myself think. It was just unacceptable. Unacceptable. Regardless of how much money I spent. So what I did was I went back to the basics. I took off the Rough Country LED 50 inch light bar. And to their credit, I gotta tell you, I called Rough Country and uh, I told them I was gonna keep the light bar but I was gonna send back the support arms. And I, I was with them the 30 days that they have. I gotta tell you, they were amazing. They were just awesome on the phone. They sent me a RMA to return the, the mounts. And after a couple days, I decided I'm gonna keep them because the mounts were only like 75 bucks. And I really liked the look of the light bar. I really liked the look of the light bar. I really, really liked how Rough Country dealt with me on the phone. They weren't annoyed. They were. They really took their customer service. Uh, they handled it extremely well. It's the only thing I can say. They gave me an RMA right away. They were like, no problem, no questions asked. But I decided, you know what? I want to support them. I want to support their product. You know, it's not their fault that it's loud as hell. Um, but I like the product and I like the arms that they made overall. Uh, a couple of things with them that could be improved on, but but they were a great company to deal with. So I kept the, kept them and now I'm glad I did because I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna try, try something else to get rid of the noise. So today, I'm gonna remount the light bar with the Rough Country uh, posts on the side, but I got something new that we're gonna try. I went and I bought the Z Rhodes wind diffuser for the 50 inch light bar. So I went out and I spent 150 bucks or something like that on the uh, on the lids, aero lids, uh, wind deflector, little plastic piece that fits over the light. Looks really cool. It looks great also, by the way. Looks fantastic. Has I bought the thing that says Rubicon inside because that's cool. And man, it looks good. It looks amazing. Protects the light. I love it. It doesn't help with the noise at all. Mine, you know, it's, they advertise it'll stop the whistling. Mine didn't whistle. I never whistled. It just was loud as hell. So loud. I can't explain to you how loud it is. 
So, Z-Lids, nice product, didn't help with what my situation was. Um, really cool looking product, I really liked it, everybody liked it, thought it was super cool, but didn't stop the noise. So I took off the, uh, I took off the Sunrider soft top, which I really like, I wanna put that back on, I do, but I wanted to make sure that I could tell the difference between everything being removed and so forth and see how much noise just just the light bar was generating so i'm back to the hard tops got the freedom tops back installed and uh it's nice it's quiet you know the jeep is not nearly as quiet as my minivan my minivan's electric as well but it's quieter i can, it's it's awesome you can have a conversation you can listen to music sounds great but today what we're going to do is i'm going to reinstall the light bar just the light bar again with the uh, rough country side posts which look great and are awesome and i'm going to try two more things to try to get that noise gone i went out and i bought the z roads wind diffuser for the 15 inch light bar i saw that before i bought the lids the aero lids product <clears throat> and i thought that's pretty cool and it says that it gets rid of the noise as well it was a hundred and some bucks you know, right around a hundred dollars let's call it so today <clears throat> we're going to install that i'm going to put it on and on the ride home i'm going to tell you if it actually works or not now i am not sponsored by rough country i'm not sponsored by aero lids i'm not sponsored by z roads all of these items i have bought with my own money been a lot of money truthfully it's been close to 700 bucks i guess already now for this light bar that i don't even have on the thing but anyways my point is if you like the content that you find on this channel please like and subscribe because we're not sponsored uh we're not even at the point where we make any money off this but we do enjoy the channel and we love watching you guys subscribe and seeing all the likes that we get it, it kind of keeps us motivated and at one point, at some time, one day, maybe we'll actually get monetized and uh, have somebody actually offer to sponsor our channel, which would be kind of cool. But until then, bam, hit the like and subscribe button and uh, show us that you like the content that we are posting. So that's what we're going to do today. We are going to install the Zeros wind diffuser for the 15-inch light bar. We're going to throw it on the, uh, on the Gladiator and see if it actually works. If it does, awesome. If it does not, I got one more trick up my sleeve I'm gonna try. We'll see how that goes. Okay guys, so here's our beautiful 50 inch light. Awesome, looks good, a little dirty. I'm gonna clean it up. This is my first unboxing video. This is our Z-Rhodes uh, wind diffuser. Again, none of these are uh, None of my videos are sponsored because we're fledgling. So please like and subscribe. Let's see what we got here. Ah. Ta-da! Pretty easy unboxing. There are no instructions inside. Well, yeah, they are right here. Okay, so. What we got here, this is for the straight model. And comes with some rivets, which is kind of cool. I guess we'll rivet it on the light. It's better than screwing it on there. Rivets, instructions, color instructions, it's kind of nice. So let's see here, we're gonna take a look, and then we'll get installing. All right, I'm gonna read these, we'll be right back. Okay guys, so basically directions, what it wants us to do is one eighth inch drill bit, center this along the piece, and drill down at least a half an inch, which is pretty far, it's gonna go pretty deep into those fins. I hope that we don't damage this light, because that is um, pretty far down there. Um, Little concern, so I'm gonna go bit by bit, slowly, each piece, just through each fin and make sure that I'm going where I need to be. Um, 
centered this up on here. I got a little mark showing where it's supposed to be. And I'll drill the first one. Let's see what happens here. I got it started. So I checked just to make sure it's good and we're gonna be fine going through there. Um, I don't know why they supplied such long rivets. But that's through two of them. Now let me check with the rivets that they supplied if that's gonna be deep enough. Let's see here. I think we're gonna go through one more three total and then that'll do the trick so now I'm not sure if this is going to hold these are called Clecos we use these all the time in aviation too small. Be right back. Okay, we're gonna go with gold. So we're gonna put this in place, and these clecos are gonna make sure that we hold this exactly where it's supposed to be held. We'll go through there, like so. So that cleco, I'm gonna hold it in place so when I drill my next ones. We should be good. Let's see. Went through three. Looks pretty good. Clico is going to hold it right in place. Keep it from moving at all left or right while we're doing this. Most people aren't going to have clecos. But I'm sure you can get away with some tape or something to keep it from, from moving as you do this. So we're going to get these on, then we're going to go ahead and get this riveted in. already here. Make sure we got all, enough rivets for everything. Should be one for each spot. Looks like we got one extra rivet. That's good. All right. So we're going to start in the middle just because it's cool. Rivet gun from Harbor Flight. Up, huh? So before you install your wind fairing, make sure you know which side you're going to run your wires on. I had ran this last time on the other side, not a big deal, but I put the, the wind diffuser on basically the top, if you will. There's not really a top or bottom, but now I'm going to have to extend these wires to get to the other side. Don't make the same mistake I did. It should be okay. So once I get that in place. That'll be okay like that. I don't All right, so let's take a look at how this looks. So this is what it looks like. And the unit itself, you can see it's got this, the deflectors on there and it's supposed to keep the wind from going up there. And it is a good looking, it is a good looking light bar. 
and the things from Rough Country look great. So let's see how it works. To replace the lifetime of ideas that have been taken from you. A day later, Lev's shoes are worn. I'm listening to my audio book. The memory of Risa and Connor is still That's a fresh a good wound, thing. And it doesn't About 35, 40 Chances miles an are, hour. They were caught. Chances are. And I can hear my audio book. All That's because good. of him. Does that make him I could an not do that. to murder? How could it? I could not do that before. Day? 40 miles an hour and I'm with no crosswinds at all and I hear nothing like, nothing like it used to be. So I'm excited to see how this is on a day when it's not so windy and uh, I think it's going to be pretty good. I might actually leave it on. It's cool looking. Okay guys, so here we go. Unsolicited testimonial because my opinion really doesn't matter. This lovely lady drives this vehicle every day. A lot. Just as much as I do. Yeah. And well, while my Wrangler's in the shop. While her Wrangler's in the shop. Brand new Wrangler 3000 miles. That's a new video. That's a different Another video. video. Anyways, your thoughts, V. How's this diffuser work? Um, so on the way to work yesterday, it worked perfect. It was quiet, it was nice, it was, I could hear the radio, I could talk to Talia, I could hear my, the phone calls. Um, 10 out of 10. On the way home, we had like 40 knots of wind or gusts yesterday, and so it was coming as a crosswind, and you could hear a little bit of sound, but I could still hear the radio, I could still make phone calls, and I could still have normal conversations. Phone calls so. is key, because before, we could not make a right. phone call. We you couldn't could, even talk to each no other. No phone call, and you had to have the radio so high that when you'd come to a stop or anything, it would almost hurt your ears and you'd have to turn it back down. We did not have to do that yesterday. So, overall impression? Um, it works? It does it works. not work? 10 out of 10, I would <coughs> buy it again. I would recommend it for anybody who has a light bar. Shockingly surprised that it works as well as it yeah, does. Like, and I'll tell you, before, without it, when you get to 30 miles an hour, it was almost like a vibrating sound in your ears and it would hurt almost like, like they were going to bleed but with this it's just wonderful it sounds awesome and you can barely even tell there's anything there i agree plus the truck looks so cool with it it yeah, does look cool looks with strong it. it looks um beefy so we're going to keep it on next thing we're going to do is we're going to put on the in. sunrider soft top and see if it mm. stays the same sound i agree i think that's going to be the next part the next of this part. video